Okay. And I want to ask you a quick question. Do you mind if I take some notes? Because I just want to make sure that everything that you and I discussed, I at least have accurate. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Um, Daniel, when was the last time you uh, went to a dealership to buy a new or a pre-owned vehicle? Whether it's a you know new car dealership, pre-owned or whatever. Uh, I went to Ford about 10 years ago and bought a, a new F-150. Really? Mm -hmm. And then let me ask you this question now, because that was 10 years ago. Um, when you went through that experience, did you end up going back and forth, kind of negotiating a little bit with the salesperson to get the numbers that you wanted for your truck? Yeah, it took a little while to get what I what I asked for. Okay, and how, how enjoyable is that whole negotiating process? It's not very fun when you're sitting there having to go back and forth with this person, right? No, definitely not. Okay, well, there's a lot of people that felt just like you. I mean, as unfortunate as this is, the automotive business have been able to piss off millions of Americans, and rightfully yeah. so playing unnecessary games with them, okay? Stalling them out on things that is rightfully there. So one of the things that I guarantee for you, okay, is I'm gonna make this the most enjoyable, fastest buying experience that I possibly can, okay? Any discounts that, you, that you're eligible for, I'm gonna give them to you right up front. Any rebates that's available on the vehicle, I'm gonna give them to you right up front. I mean, hey, just the simple fact of, did you look on the internet before you came in? Uh, yeah, just about a few things. Okay. For us to even get you here, into the dealership, to be competitive on the internet, we discounted it some already. I mean, because let's face it, if we were one of the higher priced uh, options on the internet, you and I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking right now, right? Probably. Right, so we discounted it getting here, and anything else you have before, I'm gonna give them to you right up front. So that's my commitment to you, because at the end of the day, if, uh, you know, if I don't do right by you and don't do what you like, I know what happens. You're the judge and the jury, and you'll leave. All right. Sounds so, good. now as far as on this vehicle, Daniel, are you looking for something for business or for personal use? More so for personal use. Really? Okay. So it'll be your daily driver. Right. All right. Um, will you be driving it to your place of business? Yes, I will. All right. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a ranger, park really? ranger. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing that, brother? Fifteen to sixteen years. Seventeen uh, in October. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, how do you get into being a park ranger? Was that something like? You know, you used to watch the cartoons and the Yogi Bear stuff and, <laughs> and kind of wanted to do that? Or did you go to school for it? How'd you fall into that? Uh, it started out as a kid. I, I wanted to grow up and be a park ranger all my life. And I loved to hunt and fish and do all this stuff. And I also like to take care of the wildlife as well. You know, don't fuse it. Right. So I grew up, I, I went to a few classes, a community <clears throat> college, they teach it there. Um, about how to take care of the wildlife, about how to keep people away from poaching and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's it's been an interesting experience these past 15, 20 years. It sounds like now, at the park that you're at now, have you been there the entire time or had you worked at several other? I've been there, I've been there my entire life or the entire time after I got out of school. That is awesome, man. I know you said fishing and hunting. Um, what, what cool spots you like to go fish at? Um, big old phosphate pits. Uh, they go uh, in streams for salmon, for trout, anywhere where it's crystal clear. What do you say? And your how often do you get a chance to go fish? Um, three or four times a week, maybe. Whoa, man! Yeah. And what would you say is you get the most success rate with the salmon or what? Trout. You get the, the trout. The trout, very abundant. <clears throat> man, at least I know. Now you ever you know ever catch too much where you're not able to eat it all? Then maybe I can. Maybe yeah, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. <laughs> Now, um, are you going to be the only one driving this vehicle? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So no, there's nobody else needed? No significant other spouse or anything no, like that? My wife has her own car. Oh, wife. Okay. How long have you been married, brother? Uh, for six years now. Really? Congratulations, man. What's your secret to a happy marriage? Got to know. As, as a lot of people have said before, happy wife, happy yeah, life. Wife, happy don't life. don't piss your girl off. No, no. Say, learn how to say <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> you guys got any kids? Uh, we have two. Really? Boys or girls? One and one. One boy and one girl, Lila and Alexander. Oh, uh, how old was the ages? Uh, two and one. Is Lila two or is Alexander uh, two? Lila's two and Alexander's one. All right, that's what's up. Any more coming? No, no. <laughs> okay. I can't deal with any more kids. <laughs> now, as far as with this vehicle, um, are you going to be using it for any ranger activities? I know you said it's yeah. personal use. It is. What type of ranger activities do you um, typically uh, use for your vehicle? I go up a lot of steep hills, uh, a lot of routes and bumps all uh, on the trails and so on and so forth. So I need something that has decent suspension, uh, good tires that'll last a good, uh, good little while. And that's 
and airbags. Okay. Definitely, definitely big on the airbags. The kids will be riding in this vehicle yeah. um, uh, often. Every okay. Now uh, every, now, every now and again. Um, so your wife has a vehicle. You're gonna have this one. Uh, are these the only two you have, or you guys have? Yeah. A, this will be the. Uh, this will be the second one. The second car that we have. So we will only have these two. All right. Excellent, man. All right. Now. Um, seeing as you're going to be using this for uh, ranger activities and you know the kids will be in it sometimes, are you looking for a car, truck, or SUV? Uh, I can live with a truck or an SUV. Okay. Truck as long as it meets the needs that I, I need. And what are those? The good suspension, the tires, the okay. and so on and so forth. Good, good. gas mileage. Good. Is there anything else in particular that you can think about that you would say, listen, this is a must have for my truck? Mm, possibly torque. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of torque when I'm out there. Okay. Um, do you do? Do you tow many things? Do you do any towing now? Uh, sometimes when people get stuck out there or something, people fall down, get hurt in the in the canyons or so on and so forth. We need to bring out our own little crane kind of thing, and we set it up in the back of the trucks, and we lift them up like that. Oh man, so good grief! Like the MacGyvers of the outdoors, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Make it work with what you got. Yeah, exactly. Um, are you looking for a light, medium, or dark color? Um, medium to dark since it's out in the wood, wood the area. Sure. And then blend in. All right. And uh, Dan, what, you know, where are you hoping to keep your monthly budget around? Uh, I could live with about five hundred. Okay. Up to what? Six. Okay. All right. Now, as far as on your uh, current vehicle, are there any other features that you have in your current vehicle that you would like to see in? A new one? Um, nothing but a decent system, decent uh, stereo system, a uh, good engine, V6. And other than that, no, nothing else other than that. What do you currently drive? Uh, I drive my Jeep Liberty. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. What year is that? 2003. Okay. Uh, let me ask you a question, man, because um, you know, I've been getting some inquiries by some people looking for um, more so of a, of a truck type like that. Um, are you interested in selling that? Because we may be interested in buying. Uh, sure, we can talk numbers. Excellent. Okay, so what I'll do is, while you and I are talking a little bit, uh, I'll give our, our our appraiser to go check it out, and that way he can at least tell us what what it uh you know what what we'll buy it for. All right, sounds okay. good. All right. Okay, good deal. And as far as you put your initial investment, okay, um, mm -hmm. most lenders like to see at least twenty percent um, initial investment. Okay, right. and in your case. Uh, looks like the vehicle is uh, thirty-two thousand. No, we haven't even got there. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't got there. So, um, what type of monthly investment are you looking at? Um, okay. The five hundred, another five hundred. Okay. And we find something you really like. Um, up, up to what? If I really like it, and it's all pretty much well within budget, I could probably go up to six, six fifty. Is there any other particulars that you can think about that uh, um, yourself, your wife, or that your kids would consider to be extremely important? Um, definitely the kids with enough leg room. Okay. I hate them picking the back of my seat. Right, man. And they, and they definitely get bigger. And you guys travel uh, often as a family? or uh, Once or twice a year. Will you be using this vehicle for any of that type of travel? Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as entertainment options, um, do you have any, uh, what, what do the kids do typically when you guys are traveling to entertain uh, themselves? We have our own little portable DVD players okay. that they bring, right. so. So you're good to go with that. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Bluetooth, those things? Um, yeah, I could, yeah, a Bluetooth would be nice because I do get a lot of calls. Okay. All right. So let me make sure I, 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 I have this right, I believe I do. Um, you're looking for a truck or an SUV. Um, you're going to be using this for your ranger activities. It'll be a daily driver. Um, also, you all will use it whenever you and the family go traveling. You, Lila, Alexander, and your wife. What's your wife's name? Uh, Emily. Emily, okay. You, Emily, Alexander, and Lila. Um, airbags and safety is extremely important to you. Gas mileage, torque, um, towing capacity, obviously, to help some of those boats that that, that, uh, that may be down. Um, you want to keep your monthly budget between five and six. And as far as your initial... Uh, investment uh, ranging from five to six fifty. Um, Bluetooth to make sure you have some good leg room, some room for the kids to grow up a little bit over the next few yeah. years, right? Most definitely. All right. Um, 
other than this, is there anything else that you know you feel like it would be important for me to know? Um, no, I think we pretty much covered it all. Excellent. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Then. I'm gonna go run and get with my manager, okay? And I'm gonna share him all the everything that you and I just discussed that you share with me. Okay. And I'm also gonna make sure that the bid was available because based on this information, I believe we have exactly uh, what, what you're looking for okay. and an excellent option. So I just wanna make sure it's still available before I get all into detail and we find out that somebody bought it just a little bit ago, okay? Right. Um, in the meantime, no, would you like any coffee or water or anything while I step out? Uh, I'll take a water if you don't mind. Excellent, brother. Okay, I'm gonna get to that water. I'll be right back, and then I'm gonna get the vehicle, get it pulled up, and that way you and I can look at it. And I'm gonna get the appraiser, go ahead and check out your uh, your, your vehicle. All right? all right. Can I get those keys? Yeah.